but just a weird band, you know what I mean? So I, I wanted to go with a dude that had a repertoire of weirdness instead of a guy that had a repertoire of like the same stuff we've done before. You know? okay. All recording dudes are fucking cellar dwellers. They just sit in a cave basically and just make things sound good or make things sound a different way. My studio is like your bedroom when you're 17, man. It's just, you know, come in, there's pictures of naked chicks on the wall. You're just like, whatever, it's cool. He has made the most insane noises and the coolest thing in the fucking world is when you create a noise that he has never heard before, he lights up. Your guys call How was it in key with what he was singing though? That's <laughs> fucking retarded. I didn't even, I was just fucking around because the thing sounded cool. Just fucking. Happy accident. Yeah, man. The dude pulls a fucking reverb tank out, plugs into it, and has me drop it on the floor. And we, that's what we used a sound. That was like just insane. It's like movie shit. Side of an amp sometimes, you that. Yeah. Like what this dude is capable of is just insane. His instrument is that board and all that equipment. He's playing that instrument as much as we're playing that, the, the guitar or the drums or whatever like that. Joe perfectly just said it like this. If you can't play the song, don't fucking write it. Why the fuck am I writing this fucking four, five part thing that sounds like a mess basically when I'm playing it? And then when you record it, it's not gonna get any better. And you're just chopping everything. Like, so everything's just chopped together. Put it aside, take what's good out of it, and take that. Recorded with a ton of dudes, and that made more sense to me than anything else. I like to just use real shit, you know, like, instead of putting a plug in on everything and making it sound like everybody else with a Pro Tools rig. I like using the room. If you see there's like mics against the walls, using a space to create ambience and depth and not really doing it with a Sans amp plug-in and a reverb. There's a lot of fucking amps he has in there that look like garbage but sound fucking insane. So next time you're gonna go out and buy a $3,000 amp, like don't look past the fucking $200 amp that you've looked at a million times. Like plug it in, play it, and hear it. So I just started putting triangle hits on every record. And sometimes it's in a spot where you go, man, that's rad, that's a good triangle hit. And sometimes you put it on a record that has no need to be there. So it's on the record, just buried so you can't hear it, but I know it's on there. And it's kind of like, where's Waldo? Where's the triangle hit? So I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put it on this record yet. And when the band leaves, I'll put it on there, slap it in, and uh, they'll be pleasantly surprised or it'll be buried.